Florida discontinued daily COVID reporting three months ago because cases were falling and vaccinations were rising. But now, as Capitol Bureau reporter Mike Vasilinda shows us with cases surging, a new lawsuit seeks to force the state to return to daily reports. Information about how many new daily COVID cases have been reported in the Bay Area hasn't really been easy to find since the state stopped publishing the data in June, but this new lawsuit seeks to change that. When Florida stopped publishing its daily COVID reports in June, the picture was improving. The state was in effect declaring the emergency over. As vaccines have increased, the cases have decreased. On June 3rd, some of the last daily published data showed 2.3 million total COVID cases in Florida. New data shows 3.2 million. I didn't want to have to sue the state. Now State Representative Carlos Smith and the Florida Center for Government Accountability are suing after requesting the data and being told it's no longer a public record. I'm asking for the exact same public health data that used to be available on the COVID uh, daily dashboard reporting. In a statement emailed to us by a governor's spokesperson, they say the suit has no merit because the data is given to the CDC Monday through Friday. But Smith counters local schools need the data more than ever. Local school board leaders, local businesses, parents, families, they want to know what the community trends are in their area so they can make informed decisions. An agriculture commissioner and possible DeSantis opponent in 2022, Nikki Freed, has also been asking for the data for weeks. So I am encouraged by the fact that people are finally stepping up uh, to this administration who is not complying with laws every single day. Those suing are asking for an expedited hearing and under Florida public records law, an agency that denies access to a lawful record is subject to paying everybody's attorney's fees. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Massalinda, 8 on your side.